Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a laptop review for you of the Sager MP7352 Notebook. It was sent to me courtesy of PowerNotebooks.com. If you remember, that's the company that sent me a laptop just before E3. I thought this was a relevant shirt. You'll find a link to this exact model of the site and all the other things I'm going to talk about today down in the description. This video is two parts. Part one, and they kind of mix together, is a review of this laptop. And part two is an explanation of why it's important to have two separate hard drives if you plan to be a PC commentator. More specifically, how it relates to recording and editing footage if you capture on a PC. So, laptop review first. Let's get the down dirty on this laptop. This laptop has 8 gigabytes of RAM. It has three slots, but we're only utilizing one for this particular build. We can go up to 24 gigs, but we've got eight here. More slots being utilized would be better, which we're going to talk about later. Uh, screen's 1080p, which is good. The graphics card is an NVIDIA GTX 765M. I had to remember that in my head. That is a very good and a new graphics card. However, just calling out these numbers might not mean anything to you. What might mean something to you and to me, how I typically judge a graphics card, is benchmark testing. When it comes to benchmarking, I'm a little bit lazy and I don't like running 3D Mark. I like more hands-on experience. So what I typically do is I take Skyrim, I put it in 1080p, put it on ultra settings, and boot it up someplace more scenic. What we're looking at right now is Skyrim on ultra 1080p PC. And uh, you probably can't see it, but it runs in 60 FPS. I measured this in fraps earlier today. Uh, however, if I were to record on this particular model, it wouldn't record in 60 FPS. Uh, it just wouldn't because we only have one hard drive. And that's the major limitation of this laptop is that it's only got one regular mechanical hard drive. It runs at 7200 RPM. That's normal. There's some other ones running 5400, 4800. You really don't want those. But it's not as fast as a solid state drive. And even if I did have one solid state drive, I still couldn't record very well. Uh, as for the recording problems, I'm going to skip over to some gameplay that I recorded from this computer and explain the recording problems there, and then we're going to cut back to this. The gameplay that you're seeing right now is Skyrim on Ultra Settings. I just loaded up a random save where I was in Windhelm. I'm going to blast all the guards here, and I'll swap over to Black Ops 2 when it gets boring. So like I said before, the laptop plays games in Ultra great, and this looks really good because I'm running in 30 FPS, and you're not seeing the little bit of skipping issue that I pick up when I run Fraps. And the reason I get that is what Fraps will do, or DX Story, or pretty much any PC recording program, is that you will play the game on one hard drive, and then you will also be forced to record large amounts of data to that very same hard drive and on this particular build it's doing so off of one stick of RAM and it's really punishing the system and overloading that one stick of RAM and hard drives. So what you want is at least two different sticks of RAM, variable sizes, that's fine, it's not such a big deal, and multiple hard drives. So that way you can run the game on one stick, you can use the other stick to manage all the massive files from Fraps and what you can do is run the game on one hard drive and then record on another hard drive. What I typically do is I run the game on the solid state drive since that's the faster drive and I record the gameplay onto a larger, uh, you know, the kind of regular uh, disk hard drive like I have now, the uh, 7200 RPM one, or even I've, I've hooked up a USB 3.0 external drive to save games to, and that worked out pretty well too because USB is very fast. On this laptop, you could use the eSATA drive to another hard drive, you could build it with two hard drives, or you could run a USB 3.0 hard drive. So if you plan to record PC gameplays, if you want to be a Minecraft commentator, if you want to PC commentate, if you want to do gameplay, it's going to be much easier easier on your system to just get two hard drives, whether they both be internal, which is generally preferred, or one internal and one external. I thought that that was an important thing for you to know. Now that we're back to the computer and you've heard my explanation in gameplay, this particular model of laptop can be configured to record PC gameplay excellently. It's got one NSATA 3 uh, solid state drive port, so what I would do is I would put a solid state drive on that, and then it's got two extra 2.5 inch H, uh, regular hard drive or solid state drive ports. So I could potentially put one solid state drive and then two data hard drives or maybe up to three solid state drives or multiple drives on this particular model so that if I wanted to, I would install my operating system, my games, and my programs usually on a solid state drive so they run fast. And then I record my footage and my data on the other drive. And I would also have at least two sticks of RAM. So you probably have one stick of RAM working mostly with Fraps or DX Story or something. And the other stick running your games and your programs. And it'll run much more smoothly without frame rate dropping and stutter stepping, that sort of thing. So whenever you purchase a laptop or build a desktop PC or something like that, you always want to have extra ports, extra MSATA slots, extra something so that you can, you can have two hard drives to record. That's if you want to be a commentator, if you want to record your gameplay. If you just want 
want to play, this works fine. You only need one hard drive for playing, one stick of RAM, whatever. But if you want to do multiple things, running multiple programs, recording, you're going to need multiple hard drives and multiple sticks of RAM. One of the other neat things is that we have an external uh, SATA 3 port over here on the side. You can probably see this. So if you just wanted to hook up a hard drive externally and record, you could do that. It'd be a little bit crazy. Or what worked well for me when I only had one hard drive on my old PC, uh, I hooked up an external. I can't really see them. I'm just feeling them. They're USB 3.0 drives over here. I actually ran an external USB 3.0 hard drive and recorded from Fraps just fine, and that was a major lifesaver as opposed to direct recording directly to the hard drive I was playing off of. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you learned something useful about the hard drives and gaming, and that's all we've got today. Oh yes, uh, the link to this particular model, uh, Power Notebooks, all the information I talked about down there in the description. Drifter out.